We're here with an episode of Tree Stuff Tech Tips. We're going to be discussing a base tie rescue system. Very simple to set up. Once you have your climbing line in the tree, you'll go ahead and secure it. The running ball in to the Yosemite finish. Once you put your running bowling in, you'll tie a butterfly knot. Make sure that that knot is tied, dressed, and set appropriately. And then between 24 and 36 inches, you're going to tie another alpine butterfly. And again, you're going to make sure that that is tied dressed and set. Alright, the treestuff.com base tie rescue kit is comprised of a quality weaver ditty bag, a figure eight descender, two appropriate carabiners, and either 100 or 200 feet of 10 millimeter reap schnorr from Teufelberger. This is an arborist grade climbing line and its braking strength is at over 5,000 pounds. In the event of a rescue, what you'll do is drop the bag at the base of the tree, Connect this carabiner and the descender to the lower knot. Connect this to the upper knot. You'll tension the system and soft lock it. Take a pair of hand snips, not a saw. You'll hold this and cut the connecting link, disengaging the climbing line and transferring the climber's weight to the rescue system. Remove the soft lock and then lower the climber. To go up the tree, if anything goes wrong, my rescue kit is right here by the base, okay? Nick! Are you okay? Nick! Nick, I'm coming to rescue you! Hang on, buddy. There are an infinite number of ways to set up a base tie rescue system. And while other systems allow the climber to be lowered without cutting the primary climbing system, they generally require more equipment and more setup time, in addition to being limited by the amount of rope remaining in the climber's system as to how far the climber can be lowered. When setting up to climb, you need only take the time to set two alpine butterflies and your system is in place for a quick, safe rescue if necessary. This technique is not specific to SRT. Consider the following. On a three-man crew as the most experienced climber, you are tasked with making a 90-foot climb to remove a large piece of deadwood. While the rest of your crew is capable and willing of performing an aerial rescue at normal heights, you know they are not physically fit enough for a 90-foot climb. Setting an access line, you hang your DRT system off of it. Foot lock up and work off your standard climbing system. If necessary, the ground crew can easily lower you and your entire climbing system to the ground. Other benefits of the Tree Stuff Base Tie Rescue Kit include 1. Not being limited by the length of rope remaining in the climber's system. Two, by having a dedicated trainable technique and hardware set, you increase the chance of quick, safe rescue. And three, by performing a ground facilitated rescue, you limit the exposure of other workers to danger. Thanks for watching this edition of TreeStuff.com Tech Tips. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe for more content.